Hi everyone, I'm filming from the comfort of my couch today and as we all know, because I say it every time, the lighting in my house is rubbish. So I fiddled around with the settings on my camera, I really hope this lighting's okay, but I'm just gonna work with it. Today's video is very exciting. This was the third annual UK Planner Addicts Big Meet. I attended on February the 2nd with um, some of my best friends and if you don't know as well, I am on the, or I, I have been, for the past two years on the behind the scenes team putting the event together although I play a very small role. So this year it was a little bit touch and go whether I was going to be able to attend. Um, the event was at the same venue as last year, it was at the CME or CEME conference centre in Raynham. Um, it's about an hour and a half away from me um, but obviously I've not been very well so my health was coming into play there. I wasn't sure if I was going to be well enough to go. But also, the day before I was due to travel, it started snowing. And most places just got a little bit of snow. We got a lot of snow and my hometown actually ended up on the news because it was gridlocked and you couldn't get in or out and it was an absolute nightmare. So on the morning of um, Friday the 1st of February I really was not sure whether to bother getting ready or not, whether I was going to be able to attend. Um, I felt so poorly and obviously I woke up to a lot of snow but I decided that I would be so gutted if I didn't at least try to get there. I also had car trouble as well. Yeah there's something wrong with my car but don't worry I'm getting it fixed. Um, but yeah I, I realised I would be so gutted if I didn't try to go. Um, so I bundled up warm, I got myself a little emergency pack of supplies like food and drinks and blankets and stuff just in case and I set off and it took me nearly twice as long as it should have done to get there because the roads were pretty bad and obviously people were driving slowly, I was driving very slowly um, and I stopped at a services on the way but I made it to the event on Friday afternoon so that I could help set up and I was so pleased that I made it. So when I arrived at the event on Friday, there were already a few people there. Um, Daisy was already there with her auntie, and Ali was there with Debbie, and everyone was arranging the tables, that sort of thing. All of those things that take quite a long time to sort out and organise, but you don't realise until you're doing it. Um, putting things out on the tables, it doesn't sound like it should take that long, but it does, especially when you're putting them in a nice arrangement and everything. And also, obviously we couldn't mention anything at the time, but we knew that Erin Condren had donated 230 planners, um, and they all needed to be bagged up, because they had been transported to the venue in a van, and Daisy and her family had been very, very efficient, and they had put 10 planners and 10 bags and 10 lots of accessories inside a bag for life and they had transported them like that in the van so me, Daisy and her auntie were sat in a side room packing Erin Condren's in two bags along with their accessories and getting them all ready and you should be seeing all of the footage now from when we were setting it all up but um yeah, we were laying everything out on the tables, all of the programs and lanyards and everything. Steph was there with Karen, who very kindly came to help out um, with Steph. And they were sorting out a lot of the lanyards and putting them out onto the table. We were sorting out sweets. It was just all of those little things that we would normally be doing on the morning of the event, we managed to get done the night before and it made it a lot easier. And when we left, the venue was looking absolutely beautiful. Trimcraft arrived and they started um, putting all of their display out onto the mezzanine floor as well. And they had gorgeous um, sparkly curtains, like fringing, hanging off the mezzanine. It looked lovely. Um, so yeah, that was how we left things on Friday the night before and Daisy and I went back to the hotel room and ordered dominoes and stayed up way too late just chatting and reminiscing about when we first became friends and um, eating too much pizza and then I went back to the hotel room, took a lot of painkillers because I was starting to feel the aches and pains after sorting out all the planners all afternoon um, had a lovely hot bath and then took myself off to bed for the next day. We are here, we are in. All the store holders are setting up at the moment, so I'll take you down there and we can have a little look. But it's all looking really good and it's lovely and stress-free because we got so much done yesterday. Let's have a little sneaky peek. 
be honest, there really wasn't a lot to do on the Saturday morning because we had done so much on the Friday night. But the other members of the team arrived and they had little jobs that they were doing. Um, there was a hamper made up for Erin Condren, which was, it looked absolutely beautiful. And then at about nine, half nine, the stall holders started arriving um, and setting up all of their stalls. And I always love seeing the stalls go together because you can see like people have really practiced and thought about how they want their stall to look. And when you see it all come together and all of their products showcased it's just absolutely lovely and there were some stalls there this time that we haven't had before so that was nice to see as well I think I got um, a little bit of footage here and there of some of the some of the stalls but I really wasn't very good at filming this time around which is another reason why I always do these sit down videos instead and I just put footage over the top of my voice because I'm absolutely terrible at remembering to film when I go to these events I'm always just so caught up in everything that's going on and chatting to people and stuff that I just totally forget. So like I said, at 10.15, guests started arriving for registration and they were receiving their goodie bags on the door. And at 10.30, the doors officially opened so that people could start coming in. And that's always one of my favorite moments of the whole event when people first start coming in through the doors and they can see everything. It's so nice seeing everyone's faces and it's lovely even when you just attend an event as an attendee but when you're part of the team and you've you've seen everyone's ideas and you've seen it all come together over the course of like a year and then you're seeing people walking through the door, it's so nice. Um, but it felt a bit surreal because I, I kind of couldn't believe I was there. I really didn't think I was gonna be able to make it there. Um, like whether it was my health or my car or the weather that was gonna stop me, I really didn't think I was gonna be there. So it was so nice when the doors opened and everyone started coming in just to see everyone's faces. First part of the day is always Steph's welcome speech and the awards. For us, it's not an event for you to come so that we can put our products on the stage and it's not so that we can say, we want you to shop with us. And it's because we genuinely love the people. We want everyone to come together to do something a lot of internet friends don't get to do. And that is to, to meet, to embrace, to make friends, to actually spend time with people who mean quite a lot to us. So Steph did her welcome speech and I didn't film all of it. Um, in previous years I've filmed like the whole of people's speeches. I didn't film all of it this time, um, but I did get a little snippet and then we went on to the awards. The awards are always another favourite part of the day for me. I love the awards. I totally forgot to vote this time. I completely spaced on, on voting. Um, normally I always make sure to do it and I just completely forgot this time. Um, I won an award last year. I won best YouTuber last year and it meant the world to me. It really did. It was so nice and um, yeah, it was so nice and so I know exactly how they feel when their name gets called out when they've won an award. It's so nice to think that those people have thought about you and that they've seen something and you've come to mind and yeah, I just, I love seeing the awards as well. It's absolutely brilliant. At 11.30 we had the Trimcraft workshop. Now the event was sponsored by Trimcraft who I have had the pleasure of meeting a couple of times. I was so excited when they um, decided to sponsor this year's big meet. Um, and Kathy from Trimcraft did a fab workshop for everyone all about creating a vision board. Um, so a vision board is sort of like a visual representation of a goal that you have. So if there's a particular trip you want to go on, you could create a vision board, like a collage of all the places you want to visit during that trip, the things you want to do, words that inspire you. If you have a fitness goal or you're planning a wedding or you're redecorating a room, it could be something as simple as that. Um, that was what the workshop was about. It was about creating a vision board and how to go about it and what are good things to include and how you can be inspired to use your vision board to achieve your goals. Um, I, I absolutely loved it, but I'm useless at doing things on the spot. So I created a little page in my bullet journal, but I didn't do like a proper vision board. I, I failed to prepare, which is not the mark of a good planner. I didn't take my photos with me um, for my vision board. Trimcraft provided so many beautiful goodies, totally for free, on the tables as part of the workshop for people to use for their vision boards. Um, and at the end, if anything was left and people wanted it, you could divvy it up between yourselves and take it home. Um, I think it's so incredibly generous. We, I mean, we each got a cutting mat each. Like, 
so incredibly generous but as I said you'll see a lot of that in the next half of this video. After the trim craft workshop we had lunch um, and lunch again like last year was afternoon tea and I did not get any footage or photos of lunch this time. <laughs> During this time our special guest arrived which was quite convenient because after lunch um, there was a whole hour allocated for networking, planning, shopping, just mingling and chatting and taking pictures and I thought it was a brilliant idea because so often I go to planner events and I feel like I haven't actually had a chance to speak to anyone. Um, whereas having this whole hour allocated just to do whatever you wanted was really good I think. And I think it um, helped some of the traffic at the stalls as well because you didn't all have to go at the same time. There was plenty of time to go. So I, I like to think that that means people managed to get a bit more shopping in and, and were able to see more of what was on the stalls. Then, of course, we had our incredible keynote speaker, the one and only Erin Condren. <laughs> Still can't believe that she was there, to be honest. It was absolutely amazing that she came to the event and that Daisy and Steph managed to get her to the event. It's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> for me, I have to say. Um, I mean, you come across the pond, and this is the third time this month, believe it or not, I've been here for different um, different occasions, but I feel like maybe I'm almost British. I've been here three times, and I should be up here talking about my life plan with an aluminium coil. <laughs> She gave a really inspiring speech about her own story of going from nearly losing her house all the way up to building the business that she has today and how you can use a planner to achieve your goals. And I, I find her incredibly inspiring. Obviously at the end of her talk, there was the amazing moment when she announced that she had brought everyone a planner. So um, I only sort of caught the end of it, which is really annoying, but a lot of other people did catch the whole thing. So you'll be able to see it in their video as well but um, I'll pop that in now because it's such a special moment and I want it to be in the video so hard to keep it a secret that there were going to be planners for everyone but I'm so glad it was so worth it and everyone was so happy so after that um, we had intended to do a planner stack but everyone was just so excited about their new Erin Condren planners of course um, and the uh, meet and greet with Erin went on much longer than I think anyone anticipated it would. So sadly, for the first time ever, there was no planner stack, but people did do planner stacks on their tables, which was quite cute. Um, and there was more shopping and coffee break and everything. And whilst each table was individually getting to go up and meet Erin, all of the stalls were open too. So again, it was lots and lots of time to mingle at this event, which I think was really good. The last thing is always the raffle, which Sadly, I did not win anything, but I did win some glue sticks at the Trim Craft free raffle, and I was really happy about that because I always need new glue sticks. And then it was half past five, and we were saying goodbye. It went so quickly, as always. It, I feel like it couldn't have gone any better. It was really, really great. I had a lovely day, and it's always so nice to see my friends. And yeah, it was just, I always leave these events on a high, really. I did have an absolutely horrific journey home, but that's a story for another day. Oh, yeah. Now we'll get into the part of the video that everyone likes the most, and that is the haul part of the video, showing you all of the goodies that we got to take home from the event, and all the freebies, the goodie bags, and obviously that all-important planner from Erin Condren. Um, this next part of the video is probably gonna be pretty long, um, so I apologize for that but I do think it's important to share everyone's contribution to the goodie bag. So I do show everyone's contribution to the goodie bag and I show every piece individually. Um, you can always skip through if it's a bit too long for you. But yes, I will see you in the next part of the video. Um, I just wanted to start with this little extra that I got um, from Laura, who was one of the team members. She made a gift for everyone else on the team. So this is a little, um, like, 
pen pouch or you could put glasses in here like you could put your sunglasses in here as well it says Chloe on it and then on the back it says this planner girl loves pens so obviously its intention is to be like a pen case um, but that was really cute and she also made t-shirts for everyone and mine says this planner girl loves Disney and it is so cute I can't believe that she made this herself I just love it I think it's brilliant so this will definitely get worn so thank you Laura for those if you see this video. Then I thought I would show you some of the stuff that was out on the table. So um, the day before, some of us from the team went to the venue and set up all the tables and everything and got everything ready for the Saturday. So on the table when you got there, you had um, your programme which has the lovely UKPA artwork for this year's event on it. Everyone also had a coaster with some of the UKPA artwork on it, which is super cute. A bookmark or like planner page marker. Um, it had everyone's table numbers on it, so we were table number two, with all the people who were sat at that table, again with the UKPA artwork on it for this year. And also a ticket. Um, <laughs> I love these but it's funny to post them online because it says special guests Erin Condren, Trimcraft and then it had the guest's name so it makes it seem like you're you know <laughs> one of the special guests so it's a bit funny to post online but um, yeah those are the lovely tickets and everyone's got one of those I can't wait to incorporate that into a journal page and of course it's not a planner event without a lanyard and this was the lanyard for this year with a lovely purple ribbon in terms of all of the goodies it kind of came in stages this year so when people first arrived um, as soon as they came through the door and they had their ticket scanned they had their goodie bag given to them which this year we went for um, a wash bag type style and um, when Daisy was researching goodie bags she spotted these and they are intended to be a wash bag but she thought they would be great for planner supplies and journal supplies and things and I totally agree I think they're great it's a really good size as well um so obviously it's got the UKPA logo on it this was the official UKPA goodie bag and that was like I said given to people as they came in the door along with a family calendar which was donated by Busy Bee um, for 2019. It has columns for five people, monthly pockets and it's just, it's very pretty, just like all of their stuff to be honest. So I thought I would go through and show you everything that came in the actual UKPA goodie bag. We've got this little sticker sampler from Ellen B Makes which is so cute. I love those stickers, this little package is adorable like little happy mail and I love the camera too there was some more of the UKPA um, like branded stuff so we had another one of those coasters in there and a little card if you wanted to do a washi swap which is such a cute idea there is another little sampler there from your world of color and I love this I met Erin Condren and <laughs> it's so cute there is a cute floral sampler from Autumn Crafting. We've got a really gorgeous sampler here, which again has got um, UKPA sort of branding and the colours, um, but it doesn't have any shop name on it. I think I saw in the group that these were donated by a lady called Amy Ryan, so if that is the case, thank you very much, Amy. Um, they are super cute, but yeah, there's no um, name on it at all. This adorable UKPA postcard from Bits of Stationery. I absolutely love this. So lovely. Then we've got this sticker sheet that's shaped like a little bookmark. And it's got all Big Me and UKPA stickers on it. And that is from Josephine Bow Designs. We have a lovely UKPA greetings card. It says love is a letter on pink stationery. <laughs> Very cute, and I believe it came from the UK Planet Addicts shop. We've got this little paper clip on a super cute backing. It says, let me adjust my crown and get my day started. And the um, logo for UKPA is a crown, so of course there had to be crowns in the goodie bag. 
The greetings cards were probably printed by the lovely Ali. Um, she works at a printer's and she creates all sorts of stuff like this. I feel like these probably came from her as well. It's like an Instagram frame so you can pop a little um, picture in there from the day and it's got all the hashtags <laughs> from the day in there as well. And along the top it's got some Instagram accounts. It's got Ali's Instagram, Trimcraft, Daisy's Instagram, Erin Condren and UKPA. I'm sorry guys, I know that this portion of my um, meetup roundup videos always goes on and on and on. But I just think it's really important to share all of the donations that were made. Because so many shops were so kind in donating to the goodie bags and the swag for the day. So um, next we have this adorable sampler from an Etsy shop called To Love and Monkeys, which I haven't actually heard of before, but I'm definitely gonna look up because these little monkeys are too cute. We have another sampler from Silent Beauty Plans. There is another little sticker sampler from Minxie Manor. There's this lovely postcard here and it's some of Daisy's uh, work, so it's Daisy over at My Green Cow and that's her Patreon link there as well. So that's one of her little designs. And we have super cute postcards and some stickers as well from Handcrafted by Cherie and Messy Bun and Getting Shit Done is basically my life. <laughs> And we have a UKPA postcard. These are all going to be so perfect for people's journals. Because this is a 4x6, I'll probably put it in my scrapbook album. But yeah, I just love the colours. Sorry, I know my finger's right in the middle of this one. But I am covering up the discount codes because they are intended for people who attended the Big Meet. I'm sorry, I know that sounds really Scrooge-ish. But that is just about what they were intended for. Um, but this is from Little Pencil Designs and I love this. Look at that gorgeous TN and the UKPA mug, lovely. Then inside this lovely little paper bag we had some tiny word stickers from Quickie Crafts and Plans. I love tiny word stickers, they're gonna be perfect. And then inside this lovely snowflake um, paper bag we have a pack of stickers from Dorky Planner Girls, again who I haven't heard of so I'll definitely be checking out all of these new shops. From Crafty Alley we've got some cute little Planner Girls and this one here is based on Erin Condren which is really cool. Lisa Lott over at the Lizzie Papers donated um, a discount code and there's also a little challenge to complete in there as well. I think you get the chance to win some other prizes. This sticker sampler is absolutely gorgeous. It's from Georgina the Librarian and honestly her stickers are just beautiful. They're all like hand designed. So gorgeous. Then we've got some super cute stickers from Olivia over at Sue Store. Very cute. I love these little bath stickers. We've got some more funny postcards, I think, from Ali about Erin Condren. And then this one is about when Ali met Erin in a chip shop. <laughs> That's so funny. I got this super cute washi, which I feel like you can't really see, but it's a really skinny washi with little gold um, shapes on it, like diamonds and circles. And then this was hands down my favourite part of the goodie bag. So it's got a little sticker here that says, though she be but little, she is fierce. And that's a quote that um, me and my mum always say about me. <laughs> and so I, I just really appreciated that. I loved it. And then on the back it says, when you are journaling, it becomes so absorbing that the outside world seems to disappear. But you can carry a miniature version of your world and your universe with you right here. And Ali made these stickers. Um, and inside is a teeny tiny traveller's notebook. Look at it. So this is the traveller's notebook. And Daisy painstakingly um, sat and put all of these little crown charms on. And there's also this lovely confetti charm, which I probably... I don't know actually, I might leave it on there, I'm not sure. Um, but those were inside the box as well. And then when you open it, look, it says lots of love from Stephanie, Cherie, Daisy, Laura, Grace, Chloe, Danny, Kelly, Geraldine and Ali. Give me all your washi and all your hugs and kisses too. And it's a little like washi sample, which is so cute. And it has tiny little inserts. Oh, this is just so cute. And then in the middle, 
it has this little mini folder with stickers that were designed by several members of the team but I think the, um, the actual folders were made by Danny over at Chocho Cho and Mimi they're so cute, I just can't get over it it's adorable and genuinely I want to actually try and use this little tiny TN so maybe I'll start like a little video series on here or something or maybe over on my Patreon, I don't know um, but how cute is that a little teeny tiny traveller's notebook? But that, unbelievably, was not all in terms of the swag from UKPA um, vendors and contributors themselves. Inside the goodie bag we had one of these little treasure hunt goodie bag swag um, store holder cards and a lot of the store holders were also giving out a free item if you went round um, and had a look at their stall and they would tick you off when you showed them your card. Um, so Daisy and I went off round and collected our swag and I will show you all of that now. Leanne Snowball was there with her shop The Geeky Planner, however she also um, had her bath bomb business there as well, running a stall, and she was giving out this bath dust which I cannot wait to try. Anna over at Mrs Brimble's was giving out these cute little ribbon embellishments so I got black and white ones for my journal. From Managing Mischief Co we have this beautiful paper clip with a little crown on it and similarly from Paper Pen and Plan there was a gold paper clip with a gold crown on it. From Stephanie at Scurry and Peck we got this cute little mini planner zine so you could talk about your table write some little notes, a wish list, very cute. From Savvy Mood Designs we got this little table number frame sticker so you could take a picture with your table mates and frame it with this sticker, that was a really nice idea I thought. Jo from Little Rainbow Moon was giving out these beautiful cards and there were a selection to choose from but I picked this one. Um, when women support each other incredible things happen and that's sort of the main sentiment of these events really. Ali from Crafty Ali uh, told me that I could pick anything from her stall so um, I picked a little pack of die cut words because I know I'll use them in my journal and in my scrapbooks. They were very sweet. Danny at Cho Cho and Mimi was giving out a pack of sticker samplers so there's four in there. There's birthday, Halloween, like a Thanksgiving one and then a cute unicorn one. Dottie Moo was giving out these beautiful paper clips. It's so sparkly, you can't really see it properly, but I'm sure it'll pop on pop up on my Instagram at some point. Um, it's so sparkly and pretty. Jenny at Stitch and Weave was giving out these gorgeous fabric paper clips. So I picked this one. It's like cream with blue and pink flowers. Bonbons Kawaii were giving out these little craft packs full of bits and bobs. So there's like some ephemera and die cuts in there, there's a label, a little mini highlighter and some cards in the back so I need to open it up and look through it properly but that's very nice. Now this little sampler doesn't have any name on it again and I think it might be from Shona at Away With The Fairies Co um, because I've got her ticked off on my list um, that I collected something from her but um, I don't have anything with her name on it so I think these stickers might have been from her I know you can't really see this because the lighting has all of a sudden got really poor but um, this adorable pin was from the Paper Lobster, um, Colette runs Paper Lobster and her stuff is just amazing um, and this little pin says your planner vibe attracts your planner tribe <laughs> and then I believe this magnetic UKPA paperclip is from uh, Sarah at Philo Fabulous. Again, it doesn't have um, a company name on it. I really should have written it all down at the time so that I could remember, but I'm pretty sure this is from her. Um, there were a few other people giving out freebies as well, but we missed them for one reason or another. Um, so I'm sure you can see their freebies in other people's vlogs and roundup videos of the day. Um, and also, I think I might have accidentally mixed some of the goodie bag swag card stuff in with the contents of the actual goodie bag. Honestly, I'm all over the place. 
So if you have, sorry my voice is going, <laughs> if you have watched my um, bullet journal setup videos recently you'll know that I am trying to attempt a no spend year. Um, I did absolutely brilliantly in January and then when I went to the big meet Daisy and I did order pizza so I did break my no spend for that and I did make one purchase but I think being surrounded by so many beautiful things and managing to restrain yourself and only buy one thing is still pretty good but I couldn't resist this sticker vinyl. It's from the Paper Lobster and it's going to go on the front of my bullet journal. It's got a UKPA of, obviously on it and it's got all planners and planner supplies in the background and I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. I did actually go to the event intending to buy one of her sticker vinyls for the front of my planner so I don't feel too bad and I'm going to stick it on there now for you. There we go. I had to do it off camera because it was a bit fiddly <laughs> um, and I had to take the sticker off of the notebook that was already on it but that is exactly how I hoped it would look so I'm really happy with that. But again, believe it or not, that is not it. <laughs> This event had so many freebies. People have gone home with so much stuff. We also had a lovely workshop about creating a vision board uh, by Trimcraft and they provided lots of freebies on the tables for people to use for said workshop and they also provided a goodie bag. So this bag has got some stuff from the goodie bag in. Um, some stuff that was left on the tables and they said that people could take and no one else on my table wanted it so I took it um, and then there's also something that I won in their free raffle that they were doing so obviously we got this beautiful tote bag and I will show you some of the stuff that's inside so everybody received a cutting mat and knife set which is just amazing because these are so handy. Um, I didn't use mine on the day because I didn't need it but obviously we were allowed to bring them home, they were for everyone to keep. Um, also inside the goodie bag we got these adorable paper clips, um, three of them say plans on them and then three of them are this geometric triangle pattern and they're in like lovely pastel colours with marble in the background. From the same collection I believe, by the looks of things, we got these printed pegs. Again they're beautiful pastel colours, we've got mint green and like a pale pink. Um, they're wooden pegs that have been painted and they've got that same geometric pattern on these three and then these three at the top have got hearts on. We received a glue runner from the Dot and Dab collection which I was so happy about because mine has recently run out um, that I got from their planner uh, focus day back in August and I love this so much. Their whole Dot and Dab range is absolutely brilliant actually. Again from that same collection we've got some tassels so these ones are pink, white and like a metallic silver and then we got a 4x4 I think it is paper pad, it's 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres and I got the Colourpop one which is all like geometric prints, there's watercolour in there, all in really really bright lovely colours. I had to go on their free raffle right at the end of the day and there were still some lovely prizes left but I decided to um, take the glue sticks because their glue sticks are really good. Like I said, the Dot and Dab range is genuinely really, really great. And then um, at the end of the day, there was stuff left on the tables and they said to people just take it. Um, so I took the double-sided tape and another glue runner because no one else wanted them um, and again I just genuinely love this range. We were given a load of it in a goodie bag when we went to the planner focus day in August and um, I loved it. It's such good quality so I nabbed these. There was a little leaflet about their website and it's called thecraftblog.com um, and I just thought I would show you that so that you can go and visit it if you want to. It's really good. They've got tutorials and they share projects that they've made and a lot of it is all done in-house as well because the people who work there are obviously all really crafty so it's nice to see their projects. Um, yeah, just thought I would share that with you. After the trim craft workshop we had lunch and then after lunch Erin Condren arrived. It was so exciting waiting for her to announce that she had bought a goodie bag for everyone and that inside that goodie bag was a planner. So I got one of the cute rainbow bags. They also had like black, white and gold ones. And here is the contents. So everyone got a pencil set, which is cute. They're in like pastel colors and they've got nice words on them. So we've got like wonder, dazzle. I can't spin any more of them around to have a look. Um, 
And then obviously we got a life planner. Now this is the first ever international European um, life planner. I say European, um, It's I think it's being marketed as the international life planner. Um, and Arian had them made with customised UK Planner Addicts 2019 covers. I'm not going to go into masses of detail about this planner because I'm going to film a separate video on it. I feel it, it deserves its own separate video. But um, it's got the ruler on the outside which obviously I'll move um, when I start using the planner. And yes, like I said, it's got the customised cover on the front and a gorgeous watercolour rainbow Union Jack on the back. And then inside each one is a plan for it pouch, which she also donated, which has got some stickers inside. And it's got some of those, um, what are they called? Coil clips. So you can connect stuff to the coil clip and stick it into your planner. Um, and obviously you can keep your planner supplies in here. And then also we had a sticker book, well sticker sheets each, so I got the functional flags, stickers, I love these little words down the bottom, we've got like planner addict, best day ever, and yeah so this is a pack of functional stickers and I think there were a couple um, to choose from. And then I will just show you briefly, like I said I am going to film a separate video on this, but when you go into the holidays section here, as you can see, there are holidays from all over the world, not just the US, which is very exciting. It's funny because they've put Halloween in the US holidays, um, and obviously the US does go all out for Halloween, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, so that's the little holiday section, and it goes all the way from 2018 to 2019. There we go. And then I will just show you a monthly page because the month begins on a Monday. It's so exciting that the month begins on a Monday. And yeah, it's so exciting that, you know, Erin came to our event and gave everyone one of these. So that was the amazing Erin Condren swag. And now I just have one more set of goodies to show you. So last of all, but by no means least, um, towards the end of the day we had arranged for one final gift drop um, for some items that had been donated to the goodie bags but were too big to fit in the goodie bags. Um, so every person got a brightly coloured bag like this delivered to their space and inside were yet more presents. <laughs> so we have this gorgeous 2019 Busy Bee Busy Life Diary. Um, I haven't actually had a look at it yet. So let's open it up. It's a hardbound diary. It's a nice size. Let's see. So there we go, those are the monthly pages. So they're landscape. We've got some reminders with a little pocket. That's a nice touch. And then this is what the weekly pages look like. So it starts in December 2018. And then I presume it goes all the way to, yep, December 2019. So it's really nice and plain. Like if you are someone who likes things to be very simple and, and simplified, this would be brilliant for you. From Box Clever Press, everyone got a sticker book. So I got the baking, crafting and gardening ones. And I've had these before because they sent me a parcel before and they're so cute. Let's see if I can actually fold it over, there we go. So you've got some gardening stickers, baking, crafting, and then these really cute puffy stickers at the back. Love them. I believe these were donated by Love Doki. Um, it says the Disc Agenda Planner Systems and I believe that is Love Doki. Um, they donated rulers to everyone, so I got a large, like an A5 with gold stars and a personal size with gold stars. So that is everything that was in our last little gift drop towards the end of the day. Can you believe how much swag everyone got at this event? It's incredible. I honestly felt like I was coming home with a car full of stuff. Um, 
it was just amazing and Daisy does such a good job at organising all of the goodies for these events and I'm very very pleased with everything that I came home with. So after all of that filming, I totally forgot to properly end the vlog. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I came home with from this year's UKPA Big Meet. Thank you so much to everyone who came to the event, um, who everyone else who was on the team, everyone who contributed to the event. It means so much and it's just such a brilliant event every single year. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comments below and I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye.